Hello everybody. So after an extremely tiring couple of days, because I didn't sleep at all the day before because I had a 6 a.m. flight, I literally arrived back in Siem Reap and I was so tired. I've arrived at my new hostel and I've done something really naughty. I've upgraded to a private room. So they're just getting it ready because it is now half past nine in the morning and if I'd stayed in the dorm I couldn't get in until two o'clock this afternoon. I'd stayed in contact with the um, realtors and they had a whole list of apartments for me to go and visit. So here we are, day one, back in the country. First thing on the list is to go and find a SIM card because I was with Smart before and I thought I would try out a different one just so that I could let you know if there was any differences between them. Next was to open up a bank account, which actually didn't work very well. I've got to wait a little while before I do that. And lastly is to go and visit the apartments. And I'm so excited to show you because I looked at quite a different array of apartments and we'll have to just wait and see whether I found anywhere. So sit back, grab a cup of tea, put your feet up and come on, let's go apartment hunting. So first job of the day is to come down to Metaphone to get my new SIM card. So the phone shop is right near, like one road parallel from Cam Smile Services. I've just popped in to see them just to check that I have got the right SIM, the right SIM, the right visa, which I have. And they said I could get one of two. I can either get the business visa for $180, or I can get the retirement visa for $160. So far, so good. Next on my list is heading to ABA Bank and open up a bank account. But what I didn't realize at that time was the fact that I needed my visa before I can open up a bank account. So after I had those couple of things all sorted, I headed off on a tuk-tuk to start viewing the properties. This is the first building that we're going to go and look at. This is apartment number four in this building. It's got a fridge, lovely kitchen with gas hob, sink. It looks like a place for a washing machine now. A little window. Yeah, it's nice and spacious and it won't get too hot because there's no windows in this part. There is a air conditioning unit up there. The bedroom's lovely. It's got two windows and a television. With a large balcony and it's on the second floor and it's got a wardrobe. A bathroom with a bath. Hello. Doesn't feel too hot and there's no air conditioning on as well, which is good. And there's a television as well. Whether that works, I don't know. So going up one more floor. This is on the third floor. There's a washing machine, a game cooker, fridge freezer. AC. Bathroom with the bath again. Love the sink. Gorgeous bedroom with a AC. Yeah, this one's nice too. This is the second apartment building that we're going to go and view today. This is apartment number five at this building and I quite like this. This one has a kitchen with a fridge freezer, a lovely comfortable sofa. Oh look at that, it's a wraparound 
balcony, which is gorgeous. Television. Nice bedroom. Wardrobe. Another air conditioning unit up there. And hello. And a bathroom. And it's got your washing machine and like a, a wet room bathroom, which is lovely. And it's small, which I do really quite like. It's strange that the television is in the bedroom, but yeah, I like this. The bed is really comfortable. And I've just been told that the owner for a six month lease, there's a negotiation with the price. Yeah, good feeling. I do love this wraparound balcony. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, really like the balcony. Lots of good airflow around. So they've just asked me if I want to look at a two bedroom. So I thought I'll come and have a look so I can show you. So it's got a separate kitchen area with a fridge, freezer, washing machine, hob, sink to a dining type area. It's a very large apartment <clears throat> with a lovely balcony there. A nice wet room bathroom. And this is one of the bedrooms. It's huge. Hello. And this one has an ensuite with a little tiny balcony. The airflow is really good. Let's do the bed test. Yep, nice and comfortable. And then across the hall from that one, there is another smaller double bedroom. But this one's got a larger balcony on it and it's nice and quiet as well. And it looks like they all have blackout curtains. Yeah, this bed's comfy as well. So up on the roof, they have this amazing roof terrace. Look at the views around there. 365 degree views of CM Reap. Wow. Oh, hello, there's a toilet up here. Oh gosh, look. This is amazing. It's so cool here as well. The breeze coming across is really refreshing. It does look like it's going to pour with rain any minute. I like this. It's near the Watbo area and it's got a really nice sofa television it's very small but I really like this one fridge freezer a hob and an oven washing machine the bathrooms there with a separate shower area which is really good it's quite dark and then this is the bedroom again it's small but bed test comfy bed They've got one on the second floor, which I'm going to go and look at as well. This is apartment 2B on the second floor. Exactly the same layout, just on the next floor. Ah, uh, that one has a bath. This is the view from the bedroom. Okay, it has a rooftop gym. Look at that. Wow. The rain has caught up with us eventually. Okay, I really like this. Okay, it's got a bath. They're gonna put a fridge freezer in, but it's got an oven, a four burner stove. Okay, so this is the next one that I'm looking at. A lovely sofa a bed 
balcony, wardrobe. I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't feeling this apartment and it was in a brilliant location as well. <laughs> So cooking facilities, a kettle, the bathroom has the best sink, toilet, jazzy floor, look at that, hello, gorgeous bed, fridge freezer and the most amazing balcony, look at that. That is just stunning. Again, unfortunately, with this apartment, even though the balcony was fantastic, something just, it, it didn't feel right for me. So we quickly moved on to the last property, which was a bit of a curveball. It was slightly more expensive, but it was a house. So I agreed to go and have a little look. So this is the house. How beautiful, and it's in a gated community. Very nice. The shutters are closed at the moment, but you can throw all those open. Look at the ceiling up there. And then this is your ensuite bathroom. It's huge. <laughs> urinal in here look at that that looks so nice and then through here you've got a kitchen <laughs> so through here is a kitchen you've got another bathroom here and here you've got a kitchen with a fridge and it's so nice, look at this. It's all out in the country. So across from the apartment, there's this little area here with tables and a restaurant. And you can order your food and come and sit here. This is definitely a curveball. And I really like this too. I like them all. <laughs> so I've done it. I've made a decision and I am just about to sign on the dotted line to get my apartment in Cambodia. I can't wait. And with a bit of luck, if they agree, I'll move in tomorrow. Yay!